Here I got a everyday carry tool pack and I want to show you everything that's in here and why I selected each thing. This is a CLC 4 pocket tool holder and I don't know nothing about this company. I saw it at a small town tool store and I just picked it up to make a video on what I selected. So I work construction if you don't know so I do finished carpentry, framing, so I have some experience fixing things and what tools to have. So here's a Leatherman Free P2. I like this because one, it's high quality, it works well, and it's multi-purpose function. So we have needle nose pliers, pliers, wire cutters, and I'll show you the other side. So right here we have a knife, serrated, I don't think it matters that much, but here we have a Phillips and a pry bar. So the pry bar is useful, the knife's useful, useful to me. And on the other side I have a pair of scissors, I feel like these are pretty high quality, they work well, cut zip ties, elastic bands, whatever. There's a file. And files come in useful when you actually need them. There's also a wire stripper here and multiple flatheads. So that is some of the function of this tool. And I feel like it's a great addition to any person who has limited tools or wants, you know, a lot of tools in one, you know, in one piece. So next I have some channel locks. These are good for multi uh, adjustment for different objects. You could use it for plumbing, bolts, pliers. You can grab onto things, twist them. So I don't know. This is probably about six inches or so. I don't know which size this is, but I would think it's that. And there's multiple purposes for this, and this is a good thing to have in your tool bag. Next, I feel like this is a un underrated tool but a tape measure can show you the distance between objects the length of an object um, you can check if things are level to areas around you so I feel like this is a great tool to have I use it almost every day not that exact one but this is kinda small a smaller version of what I use and I feel like you know not often are you going over 12 feet. Next I have a Milwaukee 11 in 1. So this is a great tool and it's an affordable tool. This tool is only about, I would say, $15. You have double sided bits and you have four bits to this. So here's a quarter inch nut, nut driver. I believe this is 5 sixteenths. And on the other side, there is another double bit, so multi-purpose, and it does, so like on the back of a dryer, you can check if, you know, there might be some nuts to unscrew, and this is a great tool to have. I think some people miss out on the nut driver when they select tools for, you know, selecting a small group of tools. Here I have a Klein ratchet. It holds quarter inch bits. It does hold some of these. Here is a, I think, what, T15, T10. So I could slide it into here and it works. I think one of the bits doesn't work because the flathead won't fit through the other side. But I do carry a bit holder here if I can pull it out where I could put this in here and select the bit and this is also a tilting bit so it could do different angles um, I don't this is probably like five dollars and it grips onto the bits well so that's one function there's also reverse or not reverse but you can loosen either direction Great tool. This is about $15. Next, I have a Klein's tool uh, voltage tester. You can see if 
an outlet has power to it or not. You can test if a dryer has the right voltage. So I've used this a couple times, seems to work well. Turn it on here. I guess I need to put some new batteries in this. Probably left it on. But great little tool. Here's the little probes. And you can take these sleeves off as well. If I can get them off. So, great little tool. I forget how much this was. I bought it at homedepot.com. And I was going back and forth what I should have in here. But you could also do one of these widow makers or power testers. Go ahead and turn this on. So either one will work. I kind of like this because you could actually tell what voltage is coming out of the socket. Next, I have a flashlight. This is a Streamlight Micro Stream USB. It's rechargeable. I like rechargeable things so you don't run into replacing batteries all the time. And this is a cool little flashlight. The battery life is an hour and a half on high and three hours on low, so this thing lasts me months. And next, I have a Milwaukee Sharpie and a pencil. So pencils are good for marking areas where you know you need little marks that don't mess up like a sharpie would but that's it for this pouch it has two pockets a bigger front pocket it does have a cover that can come over but i feel like it looks better with it open but thanks for watching this video make sure to hit the subscribe button i'll catch you guys later